In this video we're going to have a look at using the AGM-65 Mavericks in pre-mode in conjunction with the targeting pod. Um, and this is after the December 2020 open beta update which should make things a lot easier for us. Okay, so let's get stuck into that. So let's put the jet in active pause first of all while we get set up. We need to be in master arm mode and air to ground master mode. We need to make sure that we've got the Mavericks turned on, which we do. If you don't, just press this OSB here. They will switch on and they will take a couple of minutes to cool down. We're going to switch over the HSD page to the weapon page and set this over to pre. So we're about to set up over here. Turning our attention to the left hand MFD, we'll change the flicker's placeholder to be the targeting pod and make this a uh, set as auto mode. And then using our HOTAS commands we'll press DMS down to make it sensor of interest, expand field of view to zoom in and TMS left to go to the white hot um, camera view. We can use the manual range knobs to zoom in and out and the RDR cursor to slew the targeting around. So we'll use the, um, this tank on the left here as our first example. So we're currently in area track mode. When you're in either area track or point track mode, you can press TMS down and that will take you to INR mode. The good thing about INR mode is that if you manage to mask the targeting pod or you're behind mountains or you lose visual for whatever reason, this is the best mode for tracking um, and keeping the targeting pod pointing at the same location. When you're in INR mode, you can press TMS up which will put us into point track mode. TMS down will take us back to INR. We can press TMS right to go into area track or TMS left to go back into INR. So that behavior is now really predictable. So that's great to see. And I think we're pretty much about set up at this point. So we'll zoom out a little bit and go heads up and come out of active pause mode. So on the heads up display, you can see that we're currently around 12 miles away from the target. So we're too far. Now, if we press TS TMS knob now, it will try and hand over the target to the Maverick and will fail. So let's have a go at that. TMS up, hand off in progress. So this symbology here is the brake lock mode, which means that the um, handoff from the targeting part to the Maverick has failed. When this happens, all you need to do is press TMS down and we can have another go. So we'll wait until we're within seven miles because that will mean that we're able to gain lock. We'll just tweak the targeting. We're at six miles now, so we'll press TMS up. Handoff in progress. Crosshairs have collapsed, so we'll press weapon release and rifle. We'll pull off to the left a little. There's our targets down there. And shack. Good kill. Okay, let's try that one more time. We'll go to stair point two this time. The targeting pod immediately slews over there. We'll zoom out Altitude. a little. Altitude. Six miles away, so I'll press TMS up. Just the target. TMS up. Hand up in progress. Locked. Weapon release. RDR cursor to choose the next target. TMS up. Hand up in progress. Locked and release. So as you can see, this is now a very predictable, process-driven uh, weapon where you don't have to try and manhandle it into working. It just seems to do what it is supposed to do. So there's Shack 1 and Shack 2. So I'm really excited about using this in practice. I'm going to take it out into some uh, liberation missions uh, later today and see what it's like in a real-world scenario. 
But for now, on the practice range, it seems to be a lot more effective than it was previously. So that's great to see. And thank you very much, Eagle Dynamics. That is it for today's video. If you've got any comments or questions, please feel free to leave those down below. If you found this video useful, please consider leaving a like or subscribing to my channel. It would be greatly appreciated. Okay, thanks for watching.